forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, so I was working on my Raspberry Pi camcorder project. The best video I got right now is actually my GoPro strapped to my head. But I was just gonna do the camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. This camera. It has a Raspberry Pi HQ camera module attached to the lens, which actually works out pretty good. And then other than that, it's pretty well hollow. I've been trying to figure out what to do for, <clears throat> excuse me, a viewfinder as well as uh, a screen to run the computer, the Raspberry Pi 4, which I'm going to use for maybe editing the video, but just as a general computer for managing files and whatnot. So I might have to do like a Raspberry Pi Zero to run the camera and record the files and the audio and then have the Raspberry Pi 4 as a secondary computer running the editing software and whatever else. So the, the exciting part is uh, I wasn't sure exactly what to do <clears throat> for a big main screen until I realized I had this thing and that it fits. So I've actually got a Raspberry Pi official 7 inch touchscreen. I used some aluminum bracket on the back to mount it in with a screw. And I can actually just get this big touchscreen in there, run it on here. I've got a remote with all the media controls and a keyboard on the back. So I'll get some magnets or something to hold this on. Some little rubber plugs to hide these. And it'll look like a normal camera from the 90s, so hopefully no one will want to touch it. And then when you go to use it, you'll have all kinds of crazy features, like a big touch screen. I'll have either a viewfinder here, I have the original, the CRT's burned out, so I'll either fix that, or I'll probably put just a little screen here, so you can put it up on your shoulder and have a little LCD screen out here that you could swivel and turn around, flip it backwards, look at it from the front. And uh, that's what I got so far. It should be a pretty good camcorder. The image coming off of it kind of has a 90s look to it, which I really enjoy. It reminds me of some of the documentaries I grew up watching, which is kind of why I'm doing this project. And for now, I'm getting excited to get back to work. So I'm going to turn this off and then get the Raspberry Pi mounted and hooked up and get this running. And then I'll have an update after that. So I've got another update on the camera. So the last one I had the touchscreen <coughs> uh, mounted temporarily. It's still temporarily mounted, but I added a little something extra to it. Tape the door on, so now you can flip the door down to get to the touchscreen. That won't get damaged. And then other than that, better than that, I got the Raspberry Pi mounted and hooked up. So we're gonna lay this down. Flip open the touchscreen cover and power up the pie and see if it still works. Yep, so far so good. I did already test it, made sure it worked, but half the time things break even after you just tested them. So I think this is pretty close to the final general layout. Big touch screen on the side. We'll have a small screen to use for the uh, viewfinder. We'll probably have a we'll have a secondary Raspberry Pi. Well, one just to run the camera, <coughs> where nothing can interfere with it. And then we'll have the Raspberry Pi 4 that will run this touch screen. On this touch screen, I'm going to use as a general computer for managing files, backing things up, uh, research, light editing. Just a general use computer, something nice to have. And then I ran into this the first time. As soon as I started up, the screen's black, and I started panicking until I realized I had the lens cap on. Yeah. So we pull the lens cap off. Oh, self-contained. The only thing it's got going on it now is USB power, but I've got a big old battery bank that I could actually stuff in there because there's plenty of room. <coughs> and it'll actually be a portable camera. 
the, the giant touch screen as a viewfinder is awesome, but there's really no way to use it. So this is how it'll be used. It's meant to be set up on a shoulder like this. And then you'll have your viewfinder screen right here. And then we'll just use the, the big screen here, which you can kind of see <laughs> through the clear lens there. We use the big screen for reviewing footage, editing, deleting, formatting memory cards, all of that. Play around with the zoom and the focus here a little bit. I still have some work to do on the lens mounting. It's not very, it's not mounted very well. So it, it doesn't, the sensor doesn't line up quite right with the uh, lens, but it does work. I can actually get a good picture. And the shaking, I think I might have to deal with in software under zoom or just use a bipod or a tripod. Yeah, because I'm just hold I'm gonna hold it as still as I possibly can. Yeah, it's real shaky. That's why I like the shoulder mount format too. Downstairs. So on that note, I'm gonna show the lady.